Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for September 1st, 2021. Well, doggone it, yesterday I keep thinking we're going to get a bounce back up in the market, but those bears continue to hold on, and they're even pushing lower here this morning in the pre market. We're just not getting any relief to the selling here, and we are in an oversold condition. But what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. Well, my goodness, the bears are really on a roll here, pushing harder, uh, really hard. I would not have expected that the bulls would have given up quite so easily here in the market, but certainly we are pressing lower and lower and lower, as you can see here in these charts. Um, when I take a look at um, some of these levels in here, you can see this morning I was looking at, well, maybe we can come down here and test this price level. And this morning so far, it looks like we might gap below that price level here in the chart. So we continue to break um, support levels in the chart. And if we roll up here, that'll be our next resistance level in the chart. If we um, find those bulls eventually here, if they can um, start to pick things back up, we'll look for some resistance up in there. And of course, that just continues a potential downtrend in the chart. If we happen to fail, fail this level of support, well, I want to note, I want you to notice, guys, that there's not much um, additional support here. If um, we drop through this and, and don't bounce right back, well, then we're really kind of looking at coming all the way down here um, in the chart. So pretty ugly on uh, the morning. Um, with that potential failure that's going on here in the pre-market. Markets really seem to be reeling here heavily from um, interest rate increases, um, inflation increases that we're seeing around the world. Just can't seem to catch, um, catch on to any support here. Uh, for the time being. If we take a look at our moving averages, now we've got a follow through underneath our 50 day moving average there in the uh, diamonds chart. Certainly not a good situation. And you can even see the eight exponential moving average is starting to cross down through the 50 and we're gonna start getting that that uh, 34 EMA coming down through there as well. So we're gonna start running into some major uh, groupings of moving averages here soon as well to provide some technical resistance in the chart. Let's jump over to the SPY really quickly. SPY, very much the same thing. I was playing around with some, the next levels of support in the chart and you can see right in here um, that really is one of our last lines of defense here in the chart because if we drop down into here these aren't very strong support levels as you can see. So if we find some support in here and bounce off of this today, then we're going to start looking for resistance levels in the chart that may be right in here, or we could come back up just a little bit higher to a stronger resistance level up here. And if we were to make our way back up in here, I'm afraid what we've got is a pretty substantial resistance area to just continue to follow that downtrend to the downside. So watch that closely. We don't want to be losing this price level here in the chart. On the moving averages, again, um, we got a confirmation of failure at the 50 day. And you can see our shorter term moving averages here are starting to roll down again. And we could end up with an accumulation of moving averages providing resistance there as well. Our QQQ, um, continues to be um, haunted, I think, by the rising bonds that um, we continue to have pressure on. And um, if you take a look at this, um, pretty ugly chart, head and shoulders top, that island reversal failure here, we're pushing down into this substantial price support. If we don't find support here, once again, there just is not a whole lot of strong support underneath that. And if we begin to rally back up, if we can get some bullishness coming into the market, then we've created a pretty substantial resistance level up in here as well. 
and we would be looking for that potential of a failure up in that area. So pretty ugly here on um, that chart right now. Let's take a look at um, our moving averages here again and our moving averages. We've got that follow through failure of the 50 day and we're continuing to sink this morning. So oof, pretty ugly uh, charts here um, overall. We're going to have to be kind of careful um yeah, in this market uh, the bears are really in control and then if we take a look at our russell iwm now the good thing about iwm is it, it um had continued to hold above this downtrend break but now this morning we're going to be testing that here pretty solidly and if we take a look at some support levels in here uh, this gap down this morning could actually fail this level light right here. So not really one of the best um, places um, here in the market um, to be seeing if we don't hold that level. If we start failing through here, we do have another level of little level of support right in here on the Russell. Um, a rally back, we're gonna start looking for resistance levels right up here in this area. And I do think that just sets up that next opportunity um, to pick up a short position uh, for the downside. So watch that closely. If we were to take a look at our VIX yesterday, well, our VIX was surprising. Um, although we were selling off, there didn't seem to be a whole lot of fear in the sell off. And so it didn't really spike up much, um, kind of finish the day flat here as you can see a a, a little doji candle um, we have this upside trend here and one of the things i want to point out is that possibility that we could rest back into here and then if those bears come in then we start to use that area of price support and that's where real selling can start um, in a market that's where panic starts to set in so hopefully we can get that little relief rally here in the market we kind of need it um, but watch that close then if we take a look at our t2122 now the t2122 had a question on this uh, the other day a new viewer t2122 really isn't all that fancy if you look right here it's the four week new high new low ratio and so it takes the new highs against the new lows and uh, puts a an average on it um, um, a ratios them and um, it tells us when we're overbought or oversold the market it plots between 100 and zero on the chart so it's very very simple to read it doesn't give us market direction it doesn't tell us um, um, when we're going to move it just tells us where those pr those pressure points are so what you can see right now is down here in the bottom um, we we b b bounce out of this area and we can linger down here for a period of time but being down here in this area means that we are short term and it is short term we're oversold in um, t2122 and so what it means is we should be watching for that bounce and i've been watching for that for a couple of days and it's just not getting going here so watch that carefully in here we are still oversold and again we can linger down here for a while uh, just like we lingered up here in the overbought area for so long so watch that closely um, I still think we we have that opportunity for a bounce we just need to find some kind of inspiration for those bulls and if we take a look at our t2108 well doggone it t2108 continued to sink yesterday 37 uh, percent of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average and if you look across here breaking that um, up trend to the upside but we do have if you look back across here there's a lot of little lows right in through here and so we've got some congestion of, of some price support possibly in there that could help us out but if we don't bounce up out of here soon this could get really ugly here in um, our indexes um, with an extreme sell-off so watch that carefully here um, t2122 is also telling us that um, a lot of weakness here in the market or t2108 telling us a lot of weakness here in the market with those stocks holding above their 40 day and if we don't bounce soon it could get brutal our t2107 very similar situation but a little bit better because we're seeing those small caps hold up um, a little bit better um, than we have seen um, other indexes and you can see right in there holding a little bit of price support 
we it depends on how you draw that if I had drawn that a little bit tighter it'll show a failure of that t2107 but we have that chance if we can catch that bounce in here soon we can recover right in here and bounce off of that little bit of price support but it's pretty difficult to have too many warm and fuzzies in the market when only 26 percent of the stocks are holding above their 200 day moving average so pretty tough market here right now so be careful now i'm going to skip past the t2101 this morning and i'm going to go back over here to our index charts and just to show you that um, diamonds we got a big shot of volume right at the end of the day but if we take a look at the spy we take a look at the qqq well they shot up too right at the end of the day with some volume so uh, we had really weak volume all day and then um, right at the end of the day if you take a 15 minute chart this is the last candle of the day where we just got a big shot of volume to the sell side um, that's an institutional dark pool accumulation to the market that does that and uh, looks like it was enough of a push that it's gapping us lower here this morning so watch that carefully and closely let's take a look at our economic calendar for today now our economic calendar does have a few things that can be market moving um, today we're going to want to pay attention to that we've got the ch uh, challenger uh, job cuts this morning we're going to get um, jobless claims here today we know that that one might be a little bit sensitive we've been hearing about more job layoffs and things like that from bed bath and beyond and snap and a few others out there laying off significant numbers so um, watch that closely if that starts to perk up that could be negative for the market today our productivity and cost that's going to be an interesting one here today we'll want to keep an eye on that one um, PMI manufacturing we know that our manufacturing numbers have been in decline we've seen a lot of those um, Empire State and Dallas Fed uh, PMI numbers declining remember what we need to see is we need to see those numbers at 50 or above 50 or above we get down there around 51 52 that's kind of saying that the market is stalling our factory activity is slowing down so watch that manufacturing and the ism that's those two are going to be very important today construction spending will also be important we've seen construction spending declining because mortgages are not being taken out uh, we've got a little bit of a housing um, situation going on here so watch that carefully it's likely to decline as well and then we've got our natural gas report and we've got Bostic speaking here this afternoon so watch those things closely now as we plan forward into Friday keep in mind guys we're going to have that employment situation number on Friday that um, is certainly a market moving event so watch that close and you know <laughs> it does make me wonder with um, the, the volume being so anemic throughout the day um, remember we're going to be sliding into a three-day weekend so is it possible we continue to see a little bit of light choppy price action throughout the day um, with everyone just saying look I'm just going on vacation and, and tying it into my three-day weekend and that's certainly possible so keep an eye on um, that as we slide into that weekend um, who knows what could occur these events are certainly uh, pretty ugly and they're creating an awful lot of pressure um, in that selling let's take a look at our earnings report this morning um, our earnings calendar and I got to apologize guys because of my fault there will not be a blog this morning so I'm going to run through these um, earnings reports really quickly here today because I don't want you to miss out and you can't go to the blog to pick them up from a list um, AVGO is on the list watch that one CPB CIEN GCO will be on the list GIII a lot of retail here this morning um, got a few um, ooh, Hormel that's not good this morning Hormel uh, apparently disappointing big time um, uh, Joanne is in there OLLI SCWX um, Signet Jewelers SPWH TTC oh and I forgot um, 
we've got Lulu reporting today. So, um, and last but not least, WB, WB. Um, so there's your list of notables here today really quickly, and I apologize, there is no blog for those uh, this morning. Um, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. And I do my very best to answer those comments um, every day. There are every once in a while something happens and I can't get to them. But most of the time I'm answering those comments. So please feel free. And if you have questions, or suggestions for the video, please uh, feel free to um, leave those on the comment section as well. I want to thank everyone who does take the time to do that. Um, you guys are truly awesome. Let's talk um, just a little bit about some of these stocks that could be setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to do your own due diligence. You're going to have to think very, very carefully whether or not you want to take some risks in this market the way it's been acting. First off, let's take a look at um, a few things that are, that are continuing to hold up bullishly. Um, take a look at BJ. Now, BJ um, um, Wholesale Club here, as you can see, pushing up through that resistance in the chart and it's hanging in there. Yesterday it pushed on up on the market was moving lower. Keep an eye on that. This was my alert on the trade. And I, I can't rule out the possibility that this might rest a little bit more over here toward that trend, but keep an eye on that BJ looking pretty good. I also have to continue to mention, although we had a little bit of a pullback um, in uranium um, stocks yesterday, boy, CCJ, this is a trade that I hold. So I'm biased on this position. Um, I'm up at the close of the day, 46% or something like that. And remember guys, I'm actually hedged on this with a short strike as well. So, um, watching this chart, any rest or consolidation in here that holds some of these support levels, you'd want to watch for that next opportunity. But I would kind of suggest this could rest a little while in here because that's a pretty steep rally to the upside. So watch that close. It may take some time and, um, before that really starts moving to the upside. Take a look at um, stocks like Snow. Snow has uh, popped up on its earnings report. It is pulling back nice and resting back toward its trend. Watch a stock like that for a potential long if that can get going here to the upside and follow that trend um, in that chart. So keep an eye on a few things uh, like that. But I got to tell you overall guys, um, most things are looking pretty ugly. Um, uh, plug power would be one of those that still looks pretty darn bullish if it can hold this price support. Again, alternative energies seem to be a pretty strong place. And energy overall, if you look at stocks like um, Devon Energy, even though our dollar uh, was pretty darn strong yesterday, we saw a lot of these stocks in the energy sector bouncing back up. Take a look at MRO. Um, whoops, MRO dyslexic fingers. Um, if you take a look at some of these stocks, a lot of these uh, pushed up yesterday. One of the reasons our petroleum numbers continue to fall here um, and that continues to support these prices. So if we see that dollar start to pull back, if the US dollar does start to pull back, I, I would expect we're going to see um, these oil stocks surge hard. But right now we continue to see that dollar remaining very strong with everyone's expecting some pretty substantial rate increases and not just here in other countries as well. So watch that closely. Now on the short side of things, boy, there are a lot of those out there. Um, if you start taking a look at um, some of these stocks like Oracle moving in this downtrend, uh, failing at resistance here. Watch this for that potential that this could just continue to move on lower. We're seeing stocks like um, AMD doing the same thing, just continuing to fall to the downside. Now, I would be really careful chasing this too many days down, but a rally back up definitely sets up an opportunity. Um, we had Microsoft that was attempting to get going yesterday, 
but ultimately ended up turning to the downside. So watch that close in here. We're breaking some support levels in this chart. Now we do have this downtrend um, line here that we might be able to find a little price support on and move back up. But I have to tell you guys, if we move back up in this chart, I wanna watch right in here. If we rally, I'm gonna be looking for the next opportunity, I think, to short on a lot of these uh, big techs. Take a look at NVIDIA. Oh my goodness. NVIDIA uh, just looking awful here this morning, breaking all the way down. Um, looks like, boy, if we didn't make a new low in the pre-market, we came really, really close to it. Um, NVIDIA ugly here on the day. Taking a look at like Meta in here. Meta's down here, scraping along on the bottom. So I think a lot of the, uh, whoops, got to get the right ticker. Um, I think we've got um, a lot of these big techs um, struggling and um, honestly could set up additional short positions um, in those charts. So be really, really careful. The one that's been holding up um, quite well is Apple because it surged so much. But once again, I think any rally back into Apple up into this area where we find that resistance, um, I'd be looking for a short to follow the trend back down. So watch those closely. So with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. I want to wish you great success in your trading. And I want to caution you to be a little bit careful here. Um, Thursday might be the day that we finally get a little bit of a relief bounce. Bounce. I would like to see that. As a matter of fact, our futures are rallying back up a little bit. Um, we need a little bit of relief bounce. But as we relieved back to the upside, watch those resistance distance levels. It may not be the opportunity to buy. It may be the opportunity setting up to sell. So be really, really careful and thoughtful on your trading. want to wish you all of the best and I'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Take care. Everybody.